guys, they didn't want to give me this passport. Thank you, Jesus. Hey guys, I finally got my passport. I know like this is the kind of like exaggeration people give when they get their visa. But guys, let me tell you something. In Nigeria today, getting a passport is like searching for gold it's like mining for diamond so when you get it you are excited like finally you have started your journey you at least you have gotten something like it is quite difficult to get passport now a passport now <laughs> i didn't even introduce myself guys my name is ijoma and um I'm a content creator living here in Ibadan for my service here. So in today's video, I have something interesting. One just I think by now I'm already done with service here. I'm not even sure, but <laughs> we shall see how it goes. All right, so like guys, <laughs> to get passport like right there, <laughs> it's something else. So there's no particular fee for passport. No particular fee. Anybody, you can be in Osho and pay so so amount. You can be in the same Osho and this person pays this amount. You pay this amount depending on the route that you go through. Do you understand? Depending on if you want it um, fast track, if you want it slow track, whatever. If you want it normal, you want to just pay the normal amount. Guys, I've, I was going through a thread on Twitter and I was seeing how a lot of people were lamenting about how they have not been able to get their passport. Some have applied since last year, they've not gotten their passport till date and it's quite frustrating. Why would it be frustrating after paying for a passport? I feel like like every Nigerian should be able to own their have a passport without going through the ASO. It should be like how you have your name you should have your passport just to have your passport i don't think it's a reason because it's also a means of identification recently if it was like there was no paper there was no paper to print then now when there was paper to print people would like um apply for like maybe new passport or just to go and renew their passport because their passport is expired and it would take months and months some people over three six months and going to a year without hearing anything and without getting their passport so it's actually a testimony and god Ah, guys, finally. Do you know that they didn't want to give me my passport, guys? Okay, guess what? I didn't know that this was an issue. So, take a look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my... um. So, I am currently seven. So, I didn't know that you could not go in with your um uniform. So, I, I was done with my my CDS for the day. And my CDS shares a wall with the immigration understand in Ibadan. So I did not know that you are not supposed to go in because the day I went in to apply for a renewal, I already have a passport before. The way I went to apply for a renewal, I saw some people coming in with their core uh, uniform. So I thought like it was okay. So since my place was there and they said my passport was ready, I went there and it was almost something else like ha. when i entered it they were just calling me this officer will call me why are you in your uniform go and change it go back home i was like sir my house is is really far from here and it wouldn't make sense me going home and coming like just to change the trouser because it's just the trouser that makes you think i am a copper because because someone even mentioned when i finally get got to enter like someone allowed me said i should use a wrapper around here i should use something to just wrap myself to go before they can attend to me when i entered another person saw me one of the officers said in fact like they don't even want me here until i'm done with my service here before i come back and i was like like, is it because I'm wearing like a trouser, like my core um, uniform? Like, if I was not wearing a uniform, how would you know that I'm a core member? Because if this was a law, which I don't know about, and it was in another country, you know, like a country that has systems, you don't even need to wear your core uniform. And when they go on the system and they check your name, they'll see that you are part of the military. I mean, like you are serving your country, and there is no way for you. I can wear this white and wear like a black. A black pants or something else and you will not know that i'm a core member so i was i was saying that maybe i missed it maybe there's something in the law for core members that you're not supposed to get your passport while you are serving that you're not supposed to apply for like an international passport i don't know if there's anything like that try 
not to wear your core uniform i've been avoid it at any expense don't let like just avoid it because they wouldn't attend to you or anything so that was how i almost did not get my international passport that day guys and i just felt i should just come and say it but guys have you seen the new passport like the last time i did mine was like in 2015 and it lasted for like another five years so um the new one now looks really 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 different I feel is different it's 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 black and white now like your passport picture where your passport picture is like see see an example it's now black and white and i don't know it just looks it looks weird <laughs> and another thing that shocked me guys another thing that shocked me when i was inside the immigration and they were trying to bring out because you they, you will go for collection so when you go to for collection you will sign and then they would you would turn print it again before they give you your passport i saw that a lot of passports were kept in the in the cupboard guys and i was like these are people's these are passports with people's names on on them and a lot of people are complaining of not getting their passport so what are they keeping these passports like i'm not even it's just that we cannot take videos of what goes on there like you're not allowed to use your phones if not guys i would have shown you this thing because i feel like most of the passport they have already made them but maybe there are no better way to convey and get it to people there was a time when you could go into a passport office like register do everything and get your passport that day some people get their passport in three days time some people get their passport in one week two weeks now it has to it's now fast tracking if you want your own in two weeks you have to pay and if you want to just like the way you apply for visas like the way you do like fast tracking visas and everything that if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below okay i would like try and answer or you can send me an email at ijoma at ijoma you can send me an email you can send an email to ijoma at gmail.com okay it is where well we nigeria you guys and um i just wish you luck thank you very much have a nice day bye